I'm gonna have breakfast right now, so I'm gonna have a grapefruit. And I just sprinkle a little salt on it. And now I'm gonna, I sliced up some bananas and I have a little bit of regular peanut butter and almond butter in here. I'm gonna put some chia seeds. Mix it up a little bit. Okay, after you mix it up, just pour it on top. I melted it in the microwave for about 25 seconds or so. Then I just sprinkled some um, semi-sweet chocolate chips in there. Just a little bit, not that much. And this is a good um, pre-workout snack. It'll give you some energy. And I'm going to go for a run. So that's why I'm going to have that. And then grapefruit is really great for weight loss. I know a lot of people like to dig in with a spoon to eat their grapefruits. But that's way too hard. And I get... Um, I get sprayed in the eye way too often so what i do is i just peel it just peel it back like um like an orange or something and it's so much easier to eat like this so just in case it's a little tip i just came back home from the gym i'm gonna have a little snack um i'm taking some greek yogurt and um some almonds and dried apricots and also I have here blueberries, strawberries, and a little bit of organic honey, which, there you go. Has a different taste than um, the fake stuff. The fake stuff is a lot sweeter. Go oh, in my nuts. Right. And just mix it up. You can also throw in here like some granola if you want a little bit more crunch and a little bit more sweetness. This is a really good snack to have. It's full of carbs and protein and yummy fat. <clears throat> Over here on the stove I have some cinnamon tea that I'm making. All you need are a couple of cinnamon sticks, some water, bring it up to a boil, make sure that it's nice and dark so the cinnamon um flavor comes out and then i just put like a teaspoon of honey in it you put a little lemon juice if you want um and it's really delicious and then over here i have just a sweet potato that i cut up i'm boiling it um sweet potatoes are great carbs to have this is how dark i like my cinnamon tea super hot okay this is my favorite mug to put it in just because it's so big. I'm just going to fill it to the top. I love, I love this tea. Cinnamon is really good for anti-aging, by the way. I also make this tea whenever I have like a sore throat or a cough. And I'm just going to put a little teaspoon or tablespoon of some honey so I'm just here um, listening to some music I made a fit uh, playlist on YouTube if you want to check it out it's called songs of faith and I have like 31 songs on there that I absolutely love um, these are just some of them that I really love, but, um, go ahead and check it out right now. I'm listening to, I think this is Big Daddy Weave. Yours will be. Um, it's a really great song. And I'm just drinking my tea. Well, not yet. It's super hot. And I'm reading the Bible because I haven't read it in a while. Um, because this happened to it. Yeah. My beloved is mine and I am his. It's beautiful. Let me know what your favorite maybe Bible passage is. That'd be really awesome if you shared that with me for all those who do read the Bible, of course. I'm going to saute some kale with coconut oil. It's been heating up in a pan. I just throw it in here. 
Just gonna season it with just a little bit of salt and pepper. So this is a whole chicken that my sister made last night or the night before, I don't I forgot. But I'm just gonna get pieces of this and just heat it up into the pan. I've added some of these oven dried organic Roma tomatoes. They're from Costco. So it looks like that, it looks not that great. But um, that's because they're kept in the fridge and I'm just heating it up so that the oils can expel. And it's gonna just give really good flavor to this chicken too. Okay, I'm gonna take the cheese and just kind of put it on top. And then I'm gonna put this all onto a flatbread. And the flatbread is flat out, light tomato. So I rolled it up. <laughs> looks really yummy. I'm gonna cut this open, see what it looks like inside. Oh yeah. I'm gonna make myself a little snack. Um, I have some bread in there. Um, we buy this gluten-free bread. Super cetal multi-grain bread. Okay, so this is really hard to get used to at first. Because this is what the bread looks like. Well, this is the end of it. It has seeds in it. And this is what it looks like. Super healthy <laughs> looking. And honestly, it's something you have to get used to. Um, but I always toast this bread because toasting it just makes it easier to eat for me. I'm using almond butter. Maple almond butter. And this is from Costco. Or not Costco. Or Target. And... Um, then I'm going to use this organic strawberry spread from Costco. And I like to spread my almond butter onto the toast when it's nice and hot so that it melts onto there. Okay, and then just a little bit of jelly. Well, that's like a tablespoon about. This is like one of my favorite snacks. I'm going to prepare this tonight for tomorrow morning, but these are refrigerator oats, so... I found this um, recipe on Pinterest and I decided to try it out one night and it was great. So I'm going to take a container um, with a lid. That's very important. We just clean these out and reuse them. They're really practical. So um, I'm taking half a cup of oats, throwing it in there. Then I'm gonna take half a cup of some milk and this is soy milk. You can use skim milk or almond. Um, you can even use coconut milk if you want. So we're gonna throw this in there. Perfecto. And then you do want some yogurt. So here's some plain yogurt, Greek yogurt. And this bad boy is from Costco. I'm gonna get a third cup of that. So go ahead and scoop it out like that. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Okay. So there goes that. And then we're gonna put in some cinnamon and salt. So we're gonna do about, I think, a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm not sure. Or salt. And I, I'm not measuring this because it's. I just would rather do it like this. And then some, I think that's like a tablespoon. And you're just gonna mix this up. Looks kind of not that great right now, but what happens is overnight in the fridge, it sets up and it becomes thicker. So it's the next morning and I just wanted to show you what this little refrigerator oatmeal looks like. Take a spoon and just show you how it gets pretty thick. See? Just a little. 
And then I like to put fresh fruits. So I have some strawberries over here. Yummers. Nice organic strawberries. And I'm going to put in some granola. This is from my local grocery store. It's called Mariano's and this is French vanilla almond granola. I just want a little crunch. There you go. And it tastes really, really yummy. You should definitely try this out.